have to wait. The Jets have a bye week. Them and the 49ers both have the bye this week, so that might be a good thing for the okay. Jets to rest some players. Um, but, I mean, you know, the one team that they had on that, you know, I was talking earlier about them being 3-0 and and being a pretender and a contender was the 49ers, and they said pretender for them. I have to say I agree with that. They still have to play the Rams twice. They still got to play Seattle twice. And if they lose all four of those games, they would be three and four. That leaves you nine games. You have to win what? Nine to get in the playoffs. Yeah, that's you have to win six of nine. Ooh, I don't know if that team can do that. I don't know what their schedule is, but that's a rough to win six out of nine games if you lose all four to the Rams and the Seahawks. And yeah, and that's going to be a tough road to hoe. Yeah. And then you know, and Arizona doesn't look any better than they did last year, so they're they're going to be vying for a top pick. Now yeah. I don't think that they would go. I don't think they would. You know, it depends on how bad Kyler Kyler Murray is. And does Kyler yeah. Murray decide to go go play baseball? And yeah, he, he might. Was, he was one. He was one more bad series away from going and playing baseball in week one. And yeah. and you know how you know and that that'll shake things up and you know because you know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking if big, you know, if Ben Roethlisberger wants to come back and play another year, you know, and if Pittsburgh wants to move on, it could send him to Minnesota. Minnesota moves um, Cousins. I mean, they, Cousins is not the answer. Mm-hmm. Um, not a long. I mean, Cousins, Cousins is one of those backup guys that that you love to have sitting on the yeah. bench, but he's, but you can't have him at fifteen million dollars. And have Roethlisberger at, at at 22, so right. you know, and, and, and Roethlisberger is certainly an upgrade from from Cousins. So right. you know, does he get you know you know you ship Cousins down to Miami for a top pick? That that's an option, um, and because that's what I was thinking. And then you know, and of course, you know, then Bridgewater could be available, and um, you know, what do you do with that? Because you know, it, and how long? How much longer does Breeze have? And he's starting to yeah. get up there. He's getting a little long in the tooth. You know, Brady is very long in the tooth. And how long does he have left? Uh, Sent him through a bad pick six on Sunday, and they went out and they got the, they picked up the backup from there in uh, Philly. Correct. I saw that. And, yep. and and how how you know it's in and we're already talking we're already talking silly season and it's not even. We're only three weeks into the year. Yeah. Yep. Um, and, you know, and then I know in baseball starting to wrap up, and we didn't. And my Tigers had a had a forgettable year, a very very forgettable year. Well, you know, that, and that's another thing too, man. I mean, again, you could you could turn turn the page on the season and say, okay, well, you know what? Here's what went bad this year. Maybe next year we can bring in somebody to, you know, sure up a bat here or there, or get a pitcher here or there. Um, you know, I mean, you, I, I get a lot of slack because, you know, I'm a Red Sox fan. We won the World Series last year. We didn't make the playoffs this year. Oh, what happened? Well, you know, things happened. You know, we had bad pitching all season. Chris Sale got hurt. David Price got hurt at the end of the season. You know, it's just that's the way things go sometimes. I mean, yeah, I would love to see my team win the World Series every year. I think everybody would. It just doesn't happen yeah. that way. It just doesn't doesn't go that way. It's not the way it's set up. Um, so, I mean, I uh, because I live here in, in, in Florida, I'm you know, I, I hate to say this, but I'm pulling for the Rays. I, I really honestly hope they got three in Toronto starting tomorrow. I hope they they sweep the Blue Jays and set a new you know franchise record for wins in a season, and I hope that they either you know they beat Cleveland or beat Oakland, and if they have to go play the Yankees in New York or they have to go to Houston to play the Astros, that's fine too. I think that they would stand a good chance against both those teams, um, and they've been one of those teams where I think a lot of us you know experts didn't even have them in the playoffs this year, and this is the second year now they've won 90 plus games, but. The problem with them, just like USF, as I mentioned in my article earlier this week, no one goes to the games, and that's what hurts any franchise moving forward is not having anyone in the stands. And 
The Rays have won 90 games, and no one goes to Tropicana Field to watch them unless the other team comes in there, like the Red Sox or the Yankees or whoever it is, um, the Dodgers and stuff like that, that come in, that draw their fans from out of state or you, you live in Florida and you cheer for your team. But for the most part, you know, no one shows up. And it's and then, you know, these are the people that complain, oh, we don't want to hear about the Montreal thing. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're not going to show up to the game, don't bitch and complain about them leaving because that's what they're going to do. Start showing up and then they'll stay. Show ownership you give you care about the Rays or they're going to leave. They're going to be out of here. They're going to leave Tampa or St. Pete. So, I mean, they're going to get out of here because they're going to try to go someplace where they know they can draw fans. Is that Montreal? I don't think so. I think that we better be off somewhere, say, if they wanted to go to Las Vegas. I think they could draw there. They could draw in, in North Carolina because, again, Durham is there. They could go to Charlotte. Somebody like that. Yeah, that's a good option sport to that to that state in general because outside of the nfl in, in north carolina you don't have anything you got college football you got duke and north carolina and wake forest are all in north carolina but really none of those teams are you know a national contender none of those teams are going to win a national championship anytime soon now in basketball no. college basketball it's a whole different story you know, UNC and Duke are, are the, one of the, usually the top two programs in the country every year. But in football, you're not going to have that. And Wake Forest is kind of like, they're kind of like the babies in the ACC. They're not really that, they've had a couple of seasons where they've been favored to win and this and that. But they're not, they're not Clemson. They're not, you know, they're not anybody, they're not even close to that, that status. So, you know, again, and then, you know, being at the USF game two weeks ago, when again, I know they were playing a cupcake, as a lot of people called when I, when I posted about us winning. Oh, you, you beat a cupcake. Well, yeah, but USF, they needed a win. We got beat by Wisconsin in week one. We lost in week two on a, so on a bad call that could have been a fumble that ended up not being called a fumble or whatever it might have been. But that's in the past. We came out and won. Now we got a good opponent coming in this, this Saturday afternoon. And SMU, who's undefeated, who just beat TCU last week, it's going to be an interesting ball game, you know. So, but you, you got, they got to start showing up, man. Charlie Strong yeah. wants wants these guys to show up, and no one's showing up to these football games. And it's, you know, not to mention when your student section is not full, that's pretty crappy, because usually students get cheap seats, cheap tickets. Everyone needs to start showing up, you know. That's what sucks. Seriously, that's what sucks. Yeah, it, it usually like a, a lot of times, like when when I went when I went to, when I went to a fr- fairly small school, they gave a, they gave away seats. So like if you have yeah. if you have your student ID, you get in for free. Right. I don't know how about we didn't have a football team, we had a baseball team, we had a soccer team, we had a basketball team, and mm-hmm. you know we 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 packed it out, and we, we yeah. all our rugby games were were full. We packed it out because you know we loved our university. We loved our university. It was, it was all about school pride and about mm-hmm. showing up and showing up for our athletes. The volleyball, yeah. the girls' volleyball game was packed out. Yeah, yeah. And that's but, the way it should be. And, and, and you can't tell me that there are – but I don't know. Because, you know, if you – I maybe they don't have – Maybe they don't have that kind of loyalty to the school. Could be, and Could and, be. and maybe that's the problem. Is it's not so much that they 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 don't. It's not that they're not winning. It's that they just they they don't care. It's yeah. I'm I you know, they're if they if you know a lot of them went to you know they're Florida fans. They're Florida State fans. They're you know, and and you are there, and and they. They go to Gainesville. They'll drive to Gainesville, go to a to go to a Florida game because that's their team, and they they pick USF you USF because they could get into USF because tuition was cheaper or whatever, and they just they don't care about the the athletics. And you right. can beg and plead and, and 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 want them to show up, but you know they're they're not going to show up if they just don't care. Yeah, true. Well, and. 
I had a little conversation this morning about out of the five, five or six, you know, power schools, what they call power schools here in Florida. I think there's five. You have Florida, Miami, Florida State, UCF, and USF are the big five. And they said, well, where would be, out of those five, where do you think it would be the hardest to play on a Saturday night? People are going to say the Swamp or in Tallahassee, um, you know, at Dope Campbell. I mean, th- that was kind of the argument between the two of them. And someone said, well, it could be USF. And I said, no, it can't be because, we, A, we don't sell out games. We did in the past when the program first started. And we will have a sellout next year. And the reason we're going to have a sellout next year is because the Florida Gators are coming down here to play USF. I will bet you any amount of money that – 80% of the fans in the stands that day will be wearing blue and orange. The other 20% will be wearing green and gold, but I'm telling you right now, at least 70 to 80% of those fans will be wearing blue and orange. And that's I the be, sucky part about it. But that's what's going to end up. If yeah. it was even more. It could be 90-10 in all yeah, reality. Easy. If, it, if, it, if it's that, I mean – I'm looking forward to it because, again, I cheer for both those teams. So I'm looking very forward to that football game next year. And if USF is playing like they are right now, Florida is going to roll them. It's going to be a blowout, um, especially the way that the Gators have been playing in the past. You know, past couple weeks we lose Franks. Trask looked very good last week. Again, again, they're August Hills against Tennessee. But he still looked good. We have a, you know, we have one of those, you know, interesting games this week before we start the beef of our schedule because Florida now gets into that. Okay, we got Auburn, LSU, South Carolina, Georgia in the next four weeks. That's going to be a tough sled. That's a murderer in row if I've ever seen one. Jeez. So that's that's a tough sled to have to go through. So that's going to be interesting. We if we win this week, we're five and zero. Oh. We go in now. We got to go to Auburn to play the Tigers. We got to go to LSU, and that I still think is the hardest stadium to play in on a Saturday night. And again, it might be because I'm an SEC bias, but going to yeah, Bat yeah. Rouge to play the Tigers in Death Valley is so hard. And that's going to be a. I'll be on vacation. I leave that day to go on vacation, so I'll be at a bar or something that evening watching that game. I don't ever miss the LSU game, and then. You know, we go to South Carolina, which a lot of people say, well, that'll be a win. Well, you don't know that. And then you go to Georgia to play, or I mean to Jacksonville, to play the Bulldogs, who just got done beating Notre Dame on Saturday. That was a very good football game, too. And it could have gone either way. Notre Dame could have won that football game, too. But Georgia came out on top. So, you know, you can't – Georgia, again, is no joke either. So, I mean – I said LSU earlier could be the team that can knock Alabama out of the of the uh, SEC West, but Georgia could be that team too that could win the SEC championship game this year. So, and you know, it's too Alabama, early to Alabama better watch out because they got yes. Ole Miss this week, and Ole Miss is yeah. they love to take shots at Alabama. So, and they beat they beat the they beat the tie in the past too. They beat the tie in the think past. That, I think I gotta look it up here real quick, but I'm pretty okay. sure that's in Ole Miss. Um, no, nah, they're in Tuscaloosa, but they're in Tuscaloosa. Are this they week. In Tuscaloosa? Yeah, they're at home. They're at home, and it's tough to win there too as an opposing team. From what I've yeah. heard, yeah, right. it's 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 Not it's hard to play. To there play too. It's Not a fun place to play as a visitor. No, no. And again, as we all, I mean, and Auburn could be another team. You know, they the Iron Bowls at the end of the season, that's a rival game that always seems to be mm-hmm. interesting. Very few times have you seen a blowout in that series. Usually those are yeah. close football games, as it is with, you know, most rival games are close. You know, Florida has to go to, you know, Florida State. That's always a tough game. You know, at the end of the season, my, Michigan, Ohio State's another one that's a tough game. You know, every once in a while, Clemson and South Carolina are a tough football game. You know, you just you just don't know when it comes to the the rival games how it's going to end up you know folding out and everything. So yep. we'll have to wait and see. Definitely. 
Sacramento. Um, 